Welcome to Hastings, Australia. It's a little different to the Sussex seaside town we know, but it is on the coast and there are fish here. We've been promised the chance to hook a gummy shark by a rising hunting star in Australia, Dave Fent. His Aussie hunting adventure series is about to hit the networks, so before he's priced out of the market and becomes all lovey on us, his dad Cliff has offered up his boat for us to go shark fishing with Dave. Well, basically today we've come out the front of the western entrance. Uh, we've got Phillip Island over here, uh, the mainland back over here on the other side of us. Um, we're coming out chasing gummy sharks and um, there's a few snapper getting around at the minute as well. Can you be savaged by a gummy shark? Well, it'll certainly tear your finger apart. Oh, they will? Okay, so yeah. they're not that gummy. They're not that gummy, <laughs> but uh, we'll see if we can get one for you. <laughs> the best chance of hooking a gummy, which Dave assures us are good eating, is during slack water between tides. There is plenty of prep to be done to get us ready. Let's just start throwing out a few cu cubes and make a bit of a trail. And the gummies and the other fish will pick up on this and they'll, um, they'll start to come in. In the meantime, it's worth dangling the rod. Our first nibble is a barracuda, one of the fastest fish in the water. I've always wanted to catch one and it's armed with some serious teeth. They're not a great eating fish. Most people use them for bait or we'll just pop them back in the water. Yeah. Um, they're very, very bony. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time you pick out a, a squillion bones, it's, it's not worth eating. And what uh, uh, size do they go up to? You know, all these things get up to a metre or so, 1,200. Yep. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit longer, quite a bit bigger and give you a good fight yep. when they get to that sort of size. Then I get a bite and it's my first ever barracuda. First barracuda. Hey, I'm not going to pick it up because I'm going to get my nah, 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 nah. spined and scragged and killed. Yeah, they, they, Give us one of those small rags. Off Sussex, Barracuda off Melbourne. Brilliant. With he assures me a bit of time left before the gummy fest, I ask Dave about his new TV series. We're going to cater for your everyday hunter, so you know we're going to we're going to cover deer, foxes, and rabbits and goats, um, all the easy stuff, and it's easily accessible to the Australian public. That's the Aussie, Aussie hunter's favourite sort of fare, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, yeah, yep. All right, now your, your uh, name of your show's on your shirt there. That's it. Aussie, so. Aussie Hunting Adventures TV series, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yep. Stick that into Google. Yep, put it into Google, have a bit of a look. Uh, have a look at the website and our Facebook page. Got quite a few followers so far, it's been, it's been great. Then something serious grabs one of the lines and Dave starts working it. Well, basically, had a larger bait out for a gummy. Gummy's come up, he's grabbed onto it, and now he's taken off and he's taken some line. So what we'll do now is we'll pick up the rod, we'll tighten up the drag, and then we'll let him go a bit, and then we'll strike him. What they tend to do sometimes, they'll turn around and they'll start swimming against the current. Sometimes they'll circle around up towards the front of the boat. Turn that clicker off. See if we can get a bit of line back and, and find him. And there he is, we're in. Oh, and he's a, he's a good fish, I'd say. Then another bites. We seem to be bringing in anything but a gumpster. This one is a port Jackson shark, which looks a lot bigger in the water than it does on the deck. Now I hit a leopard shark, which sounds a bit more like it. Leopard shark, very, very fierce. This fish is almost as long as my hand. But it makes a getaway once it spots me. That was the best release ever. No gummy, but Dave is still working what we hope is now not the ever-present, but the elusive gummy. Next up is a cuttlefish, then another leopard shark. This one looks a bit more impressive on deck, but we're all hoping Dave's big one isn't going to disappoint. After an hour, a large shovel nose ray appears. It too gets a rush of blood when it gets close to the boat, and it's off. Oh, and there he goes. He's off. So we've caught sharks. We've seen plenty of fish, but not that da -da, da -da moment. Nevertheless, it is a lovely way to relax before heading to the airport and home to Britain. And doesn't a sunset over Hastings look pretty? If you want to see a preview of Dave's programme, follow the link on the screen.